Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to say for one quick thing. Now, if you kids out there are coming in this generation, whatever generation you're coming in with, um, the entertainment side of things in the world are video games from the early 80s up till now. But the gaming world today, we're talking about, okay, from the 1980s, from the year 2000s, Gaming, com uh, gaming consoles came a long way from the Atari 26 to the PlayStation 4. Uh, that's a Sony uh, PlayStation 4 to the Xbox. <laughs> and the adults will come to you and say to the kid, this is the new hottest. New hot this thing is like buying a, it's like buying a car. It's like you can see in their faces, they're all excited about it. A new vehicle. <laughs> could drive around A to B maybe pick up your girlfriend anyway in case maybe I don't know anyway uh, I don't know if they still do that this day and age but uh, yeah your girlfriend will like it the new vehicle that your you know your son bought or daughter bought whatever anyway we're not talking about cars we're talking about uh, video games this is just related video game related um, so as we said uh, uh, the Atari 2600 at the time <laughs> The, uh, the kids in those days would say the new hotness is here the Atari 26 didn't use discs it used cartridges cartridges I kid you not no discs no floppy discs no you know like a CD disc um, you know it's just slotted in it's like plug and play it's uh, it's like idiot proof almost uh, plug and play so you put the cartridge in turn it on where you go and make sure you have the you know the controller things um, and the way you go, it's just plug and play. Sort of, it's like idiot proof almost. Uh, uh, so anyway, now uh, but every generation, every uh, between eighties, uh, nineties, and two thousands, there've been uh, video games along the along the timeline. But now here we are, coming up to year twenty twenty. I kid you not. I will put this in the title: like, the next generation of gaming console, long waited gaming console about to come into stores or wherever it needs to be and publicize it really heavily I kid you not, they're going to publicize it really heavily um, let everybody know around the world so we're just going to talk about this new gaming console, leaks are already on uh, on YouTube videos <laughs> and they're just, uh, they're just thinking about the expects what's going to be on this thing um, if, it's going to have a if it's going to have a terabyte in it like a storage capacity to the inputs, the outputs, to uh, what it's going to be. They're going to tell you the specs out of this thing. Uh, uh, and uh, if the consumer, the people out there, want to go out to stores and buy this thing. And by the way, the price point, if, if people are wondering, remember, if you have a lot of money laying around, it's close to 500 bucks. This is my guess, people. Uh, close to 500 bucks. Uh, this will be the new hotness, as the adult people would say. Uh, you know, to your mom and dad would say, new hotness is going to be the new PlayStation 4, long-weighted PlayStation 4, I mean 5, sorry. And uh, we're actually recording this, by the way, for for podcasts, for the uh, coming soon, I'll be saying that in the title, coming soon, the PlayStation 5. Long-weighted, people have been trying the PlayStation 4 for a bit longer, I think about five or six years. Um... But along, this will be the next generation of consoles. And um, they're going to put every specs in it, uh, all the inputs, the outputs. Um, you know the deal. In the gaming consoles. <laughs> As they say, what's under the hood of a vehicle? It's sort of like the gaming consoles. Uh, what's under the hood? What's, you know, what's driving the uh, uh, PlayStation 5 to do what it's got to do? Uh, through the inputs, for the audio, for visuals, it's got to have audio, visuals. Uh, to uh, if it's going to have uh, live chats to uh, you know uh, uh, so these people are going to talk about next year when it comes in the stores kid you not they're going to review it give you the pros and cons if you as, as a consumer as the person that you are w want to love to have this at home Kids today in this generation would love to have at home played hours and hours <laughs> probably stick at home and really, really tell everybody in the uh, uh, in the PlayStation community, um, and really, really get it out there. I mean, they're going to publicize it heavily. Uh, kid you not. 
Uh, they're going to have billboards. They're going to have. They're going to publicize it really heavily. Uh, uh, so as you as a consumer, they said they always they think about the people first and the product second. <laughs> okay. So as you as consumers get through the doors, as they say in the malls, um, the, they call it foot traffic in the malls. Uh, it's a, it's a good thing. People are saying this is a good thing. They have foot traffic in the malls. That means consumerism. The whole notion of that. If they have foot traffic in their malls and they're going buying things and stuff like that, whatever they need to do in the malls, that's good. That's foot traffic. They're paying for everything in the mall, paying for the lights, paying for you know the people working behind the scenes. Do you name it? Uh, so, so anyway, so yes, this will be a podcast only about the new gaming console. There's few people, few months where talk about this leak. I kid you not. This new camp now it's in the prototype stage, not in the stores yet. Prototype stage. They just show you what it might look like. Um, but I saw some, some photos on it. I'm not too sure if it's going to be that, uh, people. So to bear this in mind, uh, it looked pretty <laughs> futuristic. It had airflow in every direction in this gaming console. So in every direction, I mean, there was, uh, I mean, PlaySafe 4 had its, uh, had its downside. Because uh, uh, when, when the gaming consoles, inside the gaming consoles have dust, that's going to ruin your gaming consoles. Um, that's like, uh, it's going to damage your game. So that's why you need a lot of airflow. It's not just, it's not just the gaming console. It's got to have airflow around, around the whole co gaming consoles. Uh, you know, every direction. So anyway, so I want to say for you guys, uh, so you'll be hearing a lot on YouTube by the next, what, several months into the year 2000 about this new gaming console, new generation. They'll say it in their titles on their videos, uh, just in their thumbnail videos at the bottom of the thumbnails. Um, so I'm going to save it for them people saying this. Uh, the pros and cons, the reviews, and as you as the consumer, as the person at home, We'd love to have something like this for your kids and stuff like that. So I'm saving the agony of you people saying this. Uh, so uh, they're going to do the comparisons from the last gaming console to the new one. Uh, uh, if there's any difference, the specs, uh, what's, the in, uh, what's the inputs, the outputs, is it going to have audio, visual, very good visuals, the graphics to, um, is it going to have an optical out, optical out for the, uh, give you that great you know digital sound not analog sound <laughs> trust me I know these uh, these uh, these language things because I've heard it through um, through the um, you know electronic stuff that people have talked about uh, so they're gonna have a lot of inputs and outputs they're gonna have uh, HTML whatever that uh, thing is called uh, to your uh, you know just the uh, stuff that they would put in this thing remember it's gonna be at the factory level uh, so they're going to think of what they're going to look on computers and what it's going to look like. All the inputs, outputs is going to have optical out or optical in. Um, uh, for the, <laughs> the optical is just one audio cable, not a bunch of them. This one audio cable, it's, uh, it's like a record player. It has a needle in the record player, but it's going to do the spectrum. It's going to go to, um, it's going to, you know, like the spectrum, wide it out and give it stereo. And so that's how it's going to be done. It's all waves, you know, waves. Um, so anyway, so be well aware of this. Next year, new gaming console. <laughs> people will laugh about it. People will smile about it. They're going to have lots of fun in this gaming console. I kid you not. Uh, all laughs around. I kid you not. Um, and uh, yeah, so be well aware of that. I'm going to save the people agony, the reviews. The pros and cons, and are they really good? And yeah, so I'll put this in the title of the YouTube video, and uh, yeah, so there's been several leaks on people's YouTube videos. Uh, they mentioned it several times, um, and yeah, so I will put that in the title of my video on the the new coming of the PlayStation Five. <laughs> Kid you not. So, in that in mind. Us. Whenever they release, I, they were saying they were leaking in. They were doing the price points and the year when it's going to come out. They already got 
at the level they are at, they're at the prototype level. Uh, they haven't got the one that will show on uh, where people say, hey, this is the gaming console kind of thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I'm going to end this because I know a lot of gamers are going to be out there. By, probably by the end of the year 2020, people are going to review this to their heart's content. They're going to put in the titling, uh, long-awaited uh, PlayStation 5. And is it any good? You know, the, the, <laughs> the inputs, the outputs, the videos to the audios. Uh, for surround sound systems to your um, every input, every output to it, and uh, I probably probably that's going to what happened to a USB or is it going to be USC? The new the latest inputs on devices today are US USB C, um, and uh, yeah. But anyway, we're going to see what it's going to have the specs out of the inputs, the outputs. We're going to talk about in great length. Uh, for you, uh, so if, if you have a surround sound system, this might be for you for gaming consoles to be that 5.1 sound to the 7.1 sound to and beyond, as they would say. Uh, it's ready for the future, definitely ready for the future. And uh, it'll be like realistic graphics, uh, you know, the native graphics. I guess they say native graphics due to 4K. Uh, I was here to a guy earlier today, tonight, he was discussing about the 4K. Um, he was going on about saying uh, they're fooling you as a customer. They're saying it does 4K, but it kind of lowers it down the sp uh, the uh, pixels, as they call in screens. Um, but they're, they're it's a it's a how do you say uh, get you in the store to buy it? They'll just they're kind of lead you on to buy the 4K TV. It's not really 4K TV. Um, Everybody else is really on 4.10p. I think everybody just stay on 480, uh, 4. I mean, not 4. 1080p. Sorry, 1080p, 60 by 9 ratios, and you do fine. You do fine. You pretty much do fine. Um, it's not 4.3, and uh, you know that uh, it kind of lowers down the uh, the screen. So it's not going to be like the old days uh, or 4.3. So um, Anyway, so everybody around the world is now on the 1080p ratio. That's the TVs today they have today. It's just pl the either plasmas or LD. What's called the LDC screens. <laughs> you know, whatever technology the screens have. Uh, um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to this, and it'll be, I'll put it in the title. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Uh, remember. In the year 2020, the tech side of things, they'll mention it heavily. News people, the tech side people are going to mention it heavily. They're going to mention it heavily to get you guys out there as the consumers to buy it. Um, and uh, they're going to mention the, the price points. They're going to mention the specs out of the thing. And they're going to mention if there's any airflow going on, uh, the hard drive, if there's going to be a hard drive, four terabytes. Remember, four terabytes. You could go look it up, what terabytes are. Um, uh, it's got four terabytes because, remember, it takes a lot of storage capacity on video game. People know that from gaming consoles. Uh, and, yeah, so everybody's now on the four, I mean, uh, 1080p ratio. That's the uh, 60 by 9 ratio on a screen TV. Uh, uh, and it's high def. Remember, it's high def. And it's, like, really crisp, clear... <laughs> anyway, anyway, see you guys. This is the topic about PlayStation 5, 5 to come out this coming year 2020. That's the tech side of things in the world. Um, be ready for the new console. I'm ready for it. I don't know if a lot of other people are. But remember, they're going to do a review, the pros and cons of the PlayStation 5. The inputs, the outputs, the video to audio. Is it going to have headphones? Is it going to have... Optical out, optical in. It's going to have um, all sorts of stuff. Can we record our video games to go live streaming, live streaming games? <laughs> Nowadays, people do that. I'm kidding you not. I see a few of them out there. Um, so basically, this will be the next generation, the futuristic gaming console. It's not going to be army proof. <laughs> people would say, is this army proof? 
Is it not going to be damaged, not thrown down, broken? You know, uh, we we always see that from uh, from the juggernaut. I'm not going to mention his name anymore. His dad gets really uh, he, the, the, his dad breaks his gaming console, gets upset about it. I get I get with kids today. Anyway, it's so tied to the video game consoles. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I'm not sure if it's going to be army proof. You know, it's going to be built like a tank of a KB console. Uh, you know, you throw it down, it's not going to break. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's very... <laughs> they're going to try the drop test. Uh, I always hear, see these people on YouTube videos. They have the, the t uh, title saying drop test and see if it passed the drop test. Because um, I've, I've learned it through the Junk Nuggers videos that his dad really breaks his... Every great console he owns kids you know people uh, and he gets really upset I mean I can understand from you know <laughs> being a kid and really loving your gaming console uh, but you know just I, I mean there's always going to be a new one coming out every what every five years so but anyway enough said I don't know if it's army proofed or bold proof or <laughs> any, anything it's not waterproof People are going to do these tests on this gaming console. Uh, is it water test? Is it uh, waterproofed? We don't know. <laughs> Remember, this is going to be a future. This is going to be for the future. And um, yeah, and I hope it's portable. It's not stationary, so you don't have to look at it an eyesore for a lot of people. So, so anyway, yeah. And when a gaming console out, you guys would be playing a lot of games, a lot of. Uh, but I hope it comes out on a, as a four terabyte. Oh, say on the box when you're going to a store buying this thing. Uh, it's going to say on the bottom of the boxes four terabytes. I mean, a big large storage capacity. And uh, okay, so anyway, I said enough. I will leave you with this. Next year, when you guys buy the gaming console, please, I'm asking you guys. No word of a lie. Um, PlayStation 5 will be the new hotness. It's like buying a Lamborghini to, uh, uh, you know, where everybody's excited. Well, this is going to be the new hotness. This new PlayStation 5 is going to be the new hotness. And you're going to hear it from the uh, family members. Trust me, you are. Uh, from the adult side of things. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I hope the graphics good. I hope the audio is good. I hope the visuals is good. Um, hope the sound comes out really good, and uh, yeah. So everybody's gonna try all the, all the stuff to it, uh, all the specs to the uh, what uh, you know. It's it's computer language. I would call it the computer language. Uh, the specs out of it and the computer language. Anyway, see you guys on the next one. I'm sorry, it's a bit long, but anyway, yeah. Peace, y'all, everybody. Dane Nation. See you guys. Hope we get. Um, they're in the proto prototype uh, stage. This is what you call a prototype stage. It's not out there yet. They haven't leaked the, the finished product yet. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like it's it's new hotness. The, the language the adults would use is a new hotness. It's like buying a, a vehicle for the very first time and buying it for your daughter, you know, mother, whatever the case may be. Uh, they're excited. And that's the moment that gaming console people would appreciate it. Uh, uh, you know, your daughter will be out there saying, oh, you bought me a car, cut me a car. <laughs> kind, of, kind of reaction. I don't know if they actually do that nowadays. But in the early days, they would do that. But it's like it's like a new gaming console. This is the new hottest. We heard about this in 2019. There was leaked footage on it, and the prototype on the photos looked pretty good. Uh, so anyway, that in mind, I will put this in the title and just be audio only. No visuals, no photos of anybody. I just, I don't want to get the, I don't give these people, uh, you know, uh, the satisfaction that, uh, you know, they heard their name there. Um, uh, they're good in their own ways. Um, and, you know, so I'm not going to give any recognition to anybody's name out there on this one. Just the PlayStation 5, that's pretty much it. So, in that in mind, see you guys on the next podcast. That's it. I'll put that title in here. You guys can listen to my in audio format. And there won't be any visuals, but there'll be titles on this. And uh, anyway, peace, y'all.
Take care, everybody.